theforgivenpodcast.com. Prepare yourself for a forgiveness experience. The Forgiven Podcast retells Bible scandals in a more modern setting, focusing on forgiveness in a council culture. This series will touch on forgiveness by dramatizing some of the most scandalous stories in the Bible. Look at stories of David and Bathsheba, Joseph and his brother, Joseph and Potiphar's wife, and of course, Samson and Delilah, presented in a modern day audio drama. Tune in to hear these stories, unlike you've ever heard them before. The season has already started and it features seven scripted episodes followed by bonus episodes, including readings, sermonettes, and gospel music. Listen seven days a week for seven weeks for a forgiveness experience. Theforgivenpodcast.com. Prepare yourself for a forgiveness experience. And remember, you too can be forgiven. We would like to thank Podcorn for sponsoring this episode of Tech Time Radio. Explore sponsorship opportunities and start monetizing your podcast by signing up at podcorn.com forward slash podcasters. Let me tell you about Podcorn. Podcorn is an absolute must for any podcaster starting out. Now, when we started out Tech Time Radio, we started out in a back office with a couple of mics. We expanded to a studio. And then now, as you can see, we're on the radio and have distribution into other markets. Having the ability to have Podcorn at the start of our podcast would have been a dream come true. Guess what? With Podcorn, you now have the amazing opportunity for podcasts to receive sponsorship, such as host reads, interview segments, and topical discussions. With Podcorn, there's no middleman. Podcasters of all size can browse and choose opportunities right on their platform, set their own rates, and collaborate with brands directly without exclusivities. You never give up the rights of your podcast in Podcorn, and they're here to support you everywhere possible. Visit podcorn.com. Again, that's podcorn.com. Podcorn is a true success for those starting their podcast dreams. Coming to you from the shores of the Pacific Northwest. Keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side. With leading edge topics, along with special guests, to navigate technology in a segmented, stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm. Pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. Welcome to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. We got Mike Corday here and David Brown, our engineer behind the board. Welcome to the technology show that will make you go, mmm. Mm, yeah, technology I'm, news of the week. I'm relaxing over here. You're relaxing a little bit I'm after chilling, our first I'm hour? chilling out after the first hour. The first hour was really busy. The second hour is a little bit more relaxed, right. right? We like to do that. If you're watching us right now on our live stream, from 4 to 6 p.m., you can watch us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch.tv, and of course, the best place, TechTimeRadio.com, and just click on the big screen there. Nice picture face of me and Mike, and you can watch us live stream. If you're not catching us during Saturday from 4 to 6 p.m., you're catching a rebroadcast. <laughs> so to stay up on all the information, I'm not going to go through each of those days. You, you should do it like you've been okay, doing Okay, here we go. So if you try to get us on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, and Saturday, not I, 4 to 6 p.m., there you then go. you're that, catching a rebroadcast. We need you to tell us that every week. Yeah, You want me to keep on doing that every week? Yeah. Like, like, uh, like we you didn't like that. it when I ended the week in said bye bye and you're like no that's, that's my line that's my line i know so i don't say it anymore so i get you i get you all right well welcome we're a two-hour technology show you're catching the second hour of our 50th episode we're very excited to make 50 episodes um once you make a yeah hundred- it's kind of funny isn't it what's that well when we started this we were like we don't even know what the hell we're doing we, we, we didn't <laughs> we didn't that's yeah. right yeah right and yeah. we started in that little little Tiny office and studio, uh, studio, studio six. six, studio yeah. six. That's right. I even hung a little studio six yeah, uh, you had sign, a little, of little it. placard on there. Yeah, and we started it, in, and it was really to engage audience for the everyday common person with technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I said, hey, do you want to come on over and do you want to be? When a did part we of start? It? Did we start in June of we last? We started June and last year. Okay, so we're almost we're almost, almost a year. Out of year. How almost many how many weeks do you? Because we fifty shows. Was it? Is it? 62 weeks in a year? 52 weeks a year. 52 years. So we're two weeks away from a year. Yeah. There you go. There, Yeah, that's pretty good. It's coming on up. Episode. I don't know why we have to have all the balloons around, but well, hey. Well, you know, know what? Nothing like at having least, lots of At balloons. least after all that whiskey, I'm okay with it now. I don't feel <laughs> now, as claustrophobic. You don't feel that. Now you're relaxed and everything's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm chilling now. Now, you didn't get a chance to show your NFT for the first hour. So you want to show your oh, NFT let's, for, let's the, do that. for this hour here? So a chance for our NFT. You can take a look right there. 
It's, it's a just says 50. Big five zero. You know, that's going to be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. in the next uh, next 10 years. It's called Gronk. It, uh, it's called, <laughs> it's called, yeah. Let's call Gronk and see what he did yeah, for his see, NFT. See if he'll buy one of our NFTs. He'll trade it for one of his? Sure. Oh, no, well, yeah. I've Let's, just spent a lot whatever. of time working on I don't care. Oh, you whatever. Don't care? Okay. Yeah. Well, so I've spent a lot of time doing uh, baseball cards and basketball cards from my childhood. I'm now getting a little bit older, and we've actually been going through and pulling cards out. It's pretty fun because I go through and I'll look through all the players' names, and then I say, hey, let's take a look at this. And then I open up eBay, and I look at it, and I look at PSA rating because that's how they rate it. Ten mm-hmm. is like perfect gem mint and down, and then I'm like, wow, somebody's selling it for ten grand or somebody's selling well, it for five Well, now they grand have that cool, unique feature where you can just take a picture, and it'll tell you what is what and is They can on eBay, it. but it's only for magic cards right now. They don't have it for baseball cards yet. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The, the, you hopefully think they, they would have done it for baseball cards first. I, I would think they would have done that. Or basketball cards or some sports cards because they've been around. But I think the magic cards are easier. I think they get traded well, a lot. Magic is awesome. Well, I don't know about that. I don't I know either. Play it, but Do you play magic? I've together? never played. No. Neither have I. No. Neither have I. Uh, but I did buy some cards at a garage sale. And I ended up selling see, two see of those that, cards. Yeah, see, I, 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 bucks I've a never owned a Magic card. I, I own one of the original Pokemon decks. Oh, do you? Yeah, I, I got one of the original. When they came out with the card game, I, I bought myself and my son one. And we... We played for a while, so I don't even know where that is. But you should find that. That is probably worth something. I, well, I'll look. You better, you better be careful. You could probably buy your whole house from it. That some of you those know, cards that would are suck. worth something. <laughs> that <laughs> that would <suck>. <laughs> <laughs> you have it all bent in a corner, and you're like, oh. No, they're no. they've only been used a few times, so they're in they're in pristine condition. Okay. If I can find them, okay, there you go, find it. All right. Well, thank you for joining our second hour of the show. We have our letter segment today. We're going to be talking about great things. Um, on the internet from scam and uh, phishing attempts, we have a feature called cord cutting, um, and that's going to be talking specifically about how you can save on your cable and satellite bills if you have cable and satellite. So we're going to be talking about that. And then um, we have a secret to give you at least probably 50% off your current cost. So there's some known secrets that I use. I actually, for some friends and relatives, I actually do this for them. I call up and represent um, them on the oh, phone really? and help them get discounts. Yes. So the, the the poor gal me, that doesn't like story coffee, that likes Starbucks me, coffee me over and story you coffee. Need to talk. Yeah, we, 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 should, we should talk because we've got some discounts. But you just, all you got to do is listen to the segment and I'll tell you those things. Oh, secrets. there we go. All right. And then we have Sati New Delhi that we're going to be. <laughs> is that Sati? You said her name Ooh. different every single time. No, it's a guy though. Sati. Nadella. Isn't it Satya? Sa- 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 I spell, spell it. S A T Y A. Satya. S- so it's Sati, right? Sat- Satya. Sati. Satya. Satya. Nudella. Nudella. Okay. So, so we're going to be talking Satya. about uh, him on stories you didn't know. And we got some interesting facts about him. You didn't know him. that he had five different ways of saying his name. Well, you know, <laughs> so, so that he's. <laughs> He's an Indian American business executive and chief officer, CEO right. of, of Microsoft. Microsoft. I'm sure that during this hour, we're going to have something that will make you go, mm. Does he have a mega yacht? Um, yeah, he, of course he does. Every, every everyone. Brother, every, everyone has that. But does we he have another Bugatti stories. pool cake. Uh, I don't think he's got a Bugatti oh. uh, pool cake. we got to find yet. out who, well, okay. who owns those. And hopefully we'll find something that will make you laugh regarding technology. But we're going to start our show with always our interesting question from our friends at the Love Shack. Oh. Uh, I love hearing that commercial. They're here to help you out, Mike. So that's what they said. Did you hear that last episode, that last hour? I'm not dating anymore. You're not dating anymore? No. Why did you stop dating? I, I haven't, I haven't, yeah. You I stopped dating? Yeah, I stopped dating. It's too difficult? I hate it. You just don't like it? Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, all right. Well, here's the question for you. David, you're ready to? When you are alone and have time to reflect, <laughs> what do you, <laughs> since you're single, this is half to steal, you're probably alone, and have time to reflect, what do you think about the most? How, how to not be alone? <laughs> is that what you think about? <laughs> it's okay, all right. <laughs> so Mike thinks about how not to be alone. David, what do you think about? Uh, repeat the question one more time. Oh, of course. Yes, I've stalled. All right. When you're alone and have time to reflect, what do you think about the most? School days, either high school and or college. Oh, so you go back and you kind of remember your, your good old days in, in yeah, high school Yeah, the good old days. And, yep. Okay. I think about all the questions that mankind has about the universe, ourselves, and everything. Really? Is that what you do? Kind of. Really? Well, that's yeah, a, I, I think a lot. That's a, that's a little weird. I get in trouble for thinking a lot, a lot of the time. 
So if it, if you're to ask me, I normally think about how I can become like Walt Disney. So Walt Disney. Why Walt? Walt Disney because he he created an empire based upon a mouse, his, based on a mouse. But it was really him and his brother, and Walt was so crazy. He would go and he would mortgage everything to the hilt and put it all on certain films. That's crazy. And, and then he would have them come on out, and they would actually end up being blockbusters, and they'd make money. And Roy, his brother, was like, stop it, Walt. Stop what, it, Walt. What stop was it, the, Walt. What was the very first animated cartoon? Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie. Yeah. And who is Steamboat Willie? Steamboat Willie was essentially the bad guy, and he's in, in, in the... Boat and he's well, he's fight. he's Mickey Mouse. That's who became Mickey yes, Mouse. That's correct. That's correct. And so there you go. There you go. You thought yeah, you were going to get me on. This. Yeah, this is what I think about. So I think oh. about all this weird. You stuff. think about weird stuff. All right. Okay. Well, guess what? We are really excited. We're going to move into our very first segment that we like to call letters. Letters. And the letters all have songs. All right, welcome to our segment, <laughs> Letters. I love that song. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a great song. Perry this, Como, isn't it? It is. Yeah, absolutely. And this is where we print out this week's emails, scams, phishing attempts, and other emails that are sent to myself trying to grab information from myself mm-hmm. or create a virus on my machine or install malware so that they can get access. Yeah, we're going to start. I really like this segment. You like this segment? I do too. All right. First thing we're going to talk about is Bittrex. So Bittrex is a company that um, you can start trading uh, stocks. You can trade cryptocurrency. I got an email here from No Reply. No at, Reply. No Reply at B-I-T-R, and E-X is their company, B-R-T-R, and it's an E with, the little uh, squiggly over the top, so I don't know. So I don't know exactly what that is. Dot com. So it looks almost exactly the same. So if I got this and, I, and don't take a look at the email from address mm-hmm. and look at it very quickly, it would actually look like it's coming well, from the that's one correct of the account. Th- right. That's one of the things we've talked about in these things is that some of them don't even care. Correct. Because they're they're really just taking advantage of of our what's called heuristic thinking. And heuristic means shortcut because that's the way we do everything, shortcut thinking. Uh, so they don't expect – this This is a more subtle thing if they're if they're changing just a little tiny bit so it looks – if they can clone it as much as they possibly can, the better off they're going to Lots of times success. you see a 1 and an L. Like, so if you look yeah. at people out there, they'll try to do a 1 if sure. they can't get the L, and then it looks almost like the L itself. Yeah. So it's so it's very, very uh, close. Now, it says you're almost ready to start trading. Now, I don't have an account with them to begin okay. with, so I, I, I don't need to trade. I, if I need to trade stuff, I do it on Coinbase or I do it on Fidelity, it's places that I've actually trust and, and know. Um, but they're here to help out. You know what? You can start trading after you complete your Know Your Customer process. NYC. This is intended to confirm your identity in our system as a required part of the registration process. What we need from you in our next step, a front and back of your government issued ID. Oh my gosh, they're asking for a picture. <laughs> that is, that's correct. <laughs> Two, a selfie photo. Then please log on here with the information so you can upload them to our site. Really? So, so that is what they're asking so, for. So you think they're creating profiles in your name absolutely so the person that actually clicks on this and decides to upload this on a on an imitation site will now have information of nathan with my selfie photo of know what it's like and they'll have my id for whether that's my passport or my driver's license which or, one which one would you commonly use do you think so if i was to do anything if i if i was to fall for this which i didn't but if i would i would probably use my driver's license as right. an id versus a passport Right, because that's the easiest one to get a hold of. Correct, because because uh, they the the government has been compromised many times on <laughs> on uh, on items where the government ID as your driver's license has been compromised. Uh-huh. So that would be the one that I'd put out there because that would be so, easier for me to make sure to not watch yeah, versus so the, my passport. The big message here is don't ever 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 send a picture of your government ID, ID card. No, to anybody. 
or especially your social security card. Yes, or, or, or anything of any ID, especially to a company that says to complete your steps of the customer service process, we need this information. Yeah, I don't know any any business that I'm involved with that's ever asked me for my ID card, except for one. Uh, I think Coinbase, if you trade cryptocurrency, I think they ask you for your driver's license. Well, there. Checkmark does it too. And Checkmark did it, yep. Checkmark did it. Just it, they do it, it to verify to verify your, you who you are. Who so you are. so if you're going to say that I am Mike Gorday and I'm going to be on a part here, it's going to make sure that I'm Mike Gorday as a part there. That's but that's a, that's a part of their. Cert- you have to agree to that. You have to read and agree. You don't just get asked randomly. So this one, Kelly landed her dream job in 45 days. Now, Good for I, Kelly. Oh, I don't know why Kelly is in the subject. I don't know why Kelly didn't do it in 30 days, but in 45 days. This is from Executive well, you, Career Upgrades, you know, LLC. You know the average length of time it takes to get a job? What's that? Nine months. Is it really? Yeah. All right. I, I, I believe that. That's how long it takes. So this is from Tim at Exec Cup. So E-X-E-C, and there's an extra C. C-U-P. Grades.com. So exact extra, extra C cups. An, ex, an extra C cups. So, so exact <laughs> C cups upgrades.com. So you can tell, I bet you, and I didn't do any research on this specifically, but I bet you there's an exact upgrades.com mm-hmm. w- with only one C. So that's probably very close. And they added the two C's. But when I'm reading this, hi, Nathan. Kelly pivoted her sales executive high-level account management and received a 50K pay increase in six weeks. Check out how she landed her job. Provides the link. All right, okay. this, this link goes to a YouTube video of supposedly a Kelly saying that she made lots of money. So I actually- Did you did, watch Kelly talk about how I did, uh, yes. Supposedly? So, so, so Kelly made so much money after engaging Executive Career upgrade, Upgrades, LLC. Okay. So they helped her. Then um, she gained confidence and leveled up her career to a senior management role in her dream IT job from 85K to 450K, a 260K pay boost. Wow. Kelly's so, awesome. So, so Kelly moved from 185K, which is pretty- uh, what's, that ta- what's that taking advantage of? Uh, it's taking advantage of your greed, right? Isn't it your greed as a person to get a- <laughs> to, well, Yeah, get we, it would be status and, and our, that- yeah, greed. Greed would work in there too. Okay, so Kelly landed her dream job. Kelly doesn't talk about this on the YouTube video about her moving from the 185k <laughs> to 45k. She just talks about that's that's pretty awesome. So right? yeah, we and need to talk. We need to get Kelly. Continue on, the radio on though. <laughs> she is now a director and executive of her own business, and it gets a six-figure, multiple six-figure job quickly to do her other side jobs on this. Grab a spot on our calendar for a free career breakout session. Yeah. So they give you a link to a calendar. So they didn't ask for any information. Okay. All right. They didn't. Uh, they showed you a video of Kelly. So this is just a pitch. This is just a pitch. Um, but I can go in and I can sign up on their calendar, which normally requires my cell phone. Mm-hmm. Normally requires my email address mm-hmm. and information that they do. If you've ever gone to Calendly.com dot uh-huh. yeah. and those sites, cool. they ask you. They ask you for that information, right? Yep. So that they can then gather that and choose to do what they want. So they may still try to sell me on their well, upcoming session of learning about how I can be like Kelly. So they're trying to sell you something to make your life easier and you to get rich and get a lot of status easily. Yes. Or they're still just trying to gather information about me also. So I didn't I didn't sign up for it. So Well that's good. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. I, I'm I'm very interested in and see what Kelly goes on there. there. All right. Well, here's the, here's our last one. We're going to read here. <laughs> this is from Valerie Cruz, Valerie Cruz five six T U Cruz uh, at under or Cruz underscore nineteen. Okay. Listen, I don't understand why people have numbers in their email address. That drives me insane. It's all it's, it's often birth years or uh, age. In age when they sign up, so that's great. So I got Jack at sixteen dot yahoo dot com, who's yeah. now forty five years old, to <laughs> sign it up when he was sixteen, <laughs> right? Was. Yeah. So, well, so I don't think the internet's been around that long, has it? Uh, no, probably not. So <laughs> maybe he's only thirty five. There you go. All right. Thank you for being our valued customers. Your membership has been automatically renewed today. This is a membership update. Okay. And it was CC to Shantai Friesen eighty five at hotmail dot com. So it was sent to two people. So okay. you know what they sent to me? Chantel graduated in eighty five. And eight five or eight okay. So she graduated in eighty five at Hotmail. 
Yeah, a lot of times that's what that number means. Okay, so she graduates. So, but I don't know why they CC somebody that I do not know regarding my membership update. Okay? Well, she's important. So we have charged your $340 for your annual subscription for Best Buy Geek Squad computer and tablet services. Uh-huh. So Best Buy doesn't have an annual subscription, first no. of all. Okay? Well, yeah, but I, I wouldn't know that because I don't deal with them on a regular basis. So I wouldn't know that Geek Squad doesn't charge me an annual fee. Okay, so so would you have paid ever $340 on your credit card to begin with to, to have it be renewed? Hell no. All right, so here we go. So we have your order number, G-N-S-D-L-5-A-K-E-G, Best Buy Geek Squad, $350, May 27, 2021. So they, they got a click here thing? So to cancel uh-huh. and get an instant refund... For your subscription, please contact the customer service number below or call us at 1-812-304-4018. Sincerely, Best Buy, 1812, different number, 436-6986. So what happens when you call them? So when you call them- Because I know you did. I did, actually, because I do like this stuff. This <laughs> stuff, I love when these people call me and I just try to keep them on the phone for like hours. Like you did, you did that too. I, I, I did that for three days with yeah. somebody. Yeah, yeah, you told me that. So- Essentially, when you call the number, you get someone that uh, clearly is not American accented, mm-hmm. so probably from India, China, Russia, someplace that has an accent, very heavily, uh, that says, hello, how can we help you? We would like to make sure you don't get a refund. Yeah. So I'm trying yeah, to don't do, do that. I'm trying to do the, the, the talk of what they'd say. Okay. Just, just tell us the words. Okay. You don't need to try, <laughs> try to do the voice. Well, <laughs> elaborate on the Hello. <laughs> um, so essentially, they get a refund. Um, he's asking me for my information, my credit card, because he's going to immediately right. give me back my three hundred and forty dollars on my right. credit card number. So here's the, here's the thing, right? So if you want to, if you really want to see if this is happening, what you, where where is the first place you need to go? The first place you should you should absolutely go and take a look at your bank account take to see a, if right. those three hundred and forty dollars was absolutely subtracted yeah, from your it, account. Yeah, I mean, but they're what they're they're luring you with this thing, oh, we'll give you a refund. And so they're banking on, and then again, this is that heuristic thinking. Oh, they're solving my problem before I need to worry about the problem. They're giving me the problem. They're solving the problem. All I need to do is call them up, and then and then they will take my information and refund me the money. Yep. Instead of me going... And this is what we call critical thinking, right? Instead of me going, okay, we need to look at our credit card statement or our bank statement to make sure that these people are actually legit and or something has been taken from my account because they're just relying on a fear factor. And, and they have a link in there so you just click on right. oh, your phones, right? You see, I, if you read it on your phone, you see that number there so you can just call them immediately and boom, there I mean, you all go. This, all this stuff takes advantage of human beha- natural human behavior. It, that's all it ever does. All right. Well, we're going to head out to our first break. Now is the time to call at 425-373-5527 or 1-88-298-5569. Again, that's 425-373-5527 because we are giving away for the first caller this hour. We're going to be giving away our story coffee. This is by far the best. Yeah. Get, the best. Get, get some story coffee. This is good this stuff. Is the, this is the best coffee. Uh, this is by far. I love the coffee. Uh, it, it, and I mean, I'm not getting paid to say that I like the coffee. That's I right. just tell you. They do I, not pay us. They do not pay us at all. They do give us a bag every two months. We do uh, get a bag of coffee. Every yes. two months. And it's not enough because I go through it, my bag I in a go, month. I, I go I go through the coffee with two weeks maximum. Two weeks, It's yeah. usually like a week. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty good coffee. It, it, it helps you become a night owl, right? That way, the night. No, owl, I'm just a night owl normally. I just it keep it, it wakes me up in the morning because I have to I have to operate in normal world. All right. Well, we thank uh, the Love Shack on KKNW Thursdays from one to two p.m. for providing us the cards to do that. Yep. And we enjoyed our letter segment. Now, Mike, you're gonna have to help me understand Curiosity Stream because they're a sponsor. Oh. I uh, and so when we come on back, I want you to tell me a little bit about Curiosity. Uh, stream how it works what it's done because you said you've been a part of that and we're excited for them to be a part of our sponsor yep. and we got a discount where you can sign up for them at techtimeradio oh cool uh, dot com forward slash sponsors and so let's talk about that after our break
Upper Left Corner is a PNW true crime podcast now streaming on all major podcast platforms. If you get excited when your favorite true crime podcast tells a story about a place that you've been to or the town that you live in, then Upper Left Corner podcast is for you. Each week, I tell you a story of a crime that has taken place in the PNW and give you background about the town the crime occurred in. If you like true crime, check out Upper Left Corner podcast now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google and more. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service, knowledge, and the little things that make a big difference. Service. Selection. Advice. Community involvement. Competitive prices. Convenience. Located near you. And the things you need, such as... House keys. Lawn and garden. Plumbing. Electrical. Hardware. Grills. Outdoor living supplies. And even nuts and bolts. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Evergreen Way in Everett, Lake Stevens, and now Stanley. Ace is the place with the hardware, folks. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Moe, Mike Orday here, and David Brown behind the board. Okay, so I asked you a question, Mike. Explain to me one of our sponsors, Curiosity Stream. Sponsor that we're excited to have. They are essentially giving a discount for their it's yearly awesome. s- subscription. So tell me about it. Uh, Curiosity Stream is a streaming service that streams uh, basically uh, science type documentaries. So, what they got nature, nature videos, um, dinosaurs, astrophysics, you know, all kinds of stuff on there. Now and it's all do- it's all science, basically science based documentaries. Documentaries. Now they have a pretty good fee too, right? So it's a yearly subscription fee. Yeah. It's anywhere between, right now there's a special going on for this holiday right now for like half price. So it's normally like $20 mm-hmm. for a year, not a just year. not just a month. And, and how much content is on? So if I, let's say I went to sign up today, um, hopefully I went to techtimeradio.com and I click on the sponsor page and I, and I can find the curiosity. There's a lot there. of different content. Like, is it like 50 a, shows, 20 shows? Oh, I don't, I don't know the amount of shows, but uh, I know that uh, there's a lot of, a lot of content on now. One of the drawbacks was uh, when I first got onto it, um, I would do. You would have like these series documentaries, and yeah. they would only be like fifteen minutes long. Okay. So they have they they don't conform to a lot of standard stuff. So I would get on something, and I would be like, "What? It's only fifteen minutes," and I would chew through an entire documentary series and be like, "Well, that's a bummer." So it got a little bit like QB then, huh? Queeby? Queeby? Yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't exist anymore? That doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I don't, no, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, it's it's got a lot of... Uh, if you like science, uh, arts, documentaries, this is the place to go. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on there. So I have not signed up for it yet. Would you recommend for me to sign up for it? Yeah, do it. Absolutely. Well, Maybe not you. <laughs> well, maybe not me. Wow, wow. Maybe not me. Because it's not, it's not, it's, it's not contemporary sports or anything. It's, it's science. Uh, I like it's, science. Okay. It's okay. Like, if you like science, then yeah. If you like, if you like stuff like uh, learning about dinosaurs, learning about astronomy, learning about uh, uh, Nat Geo type of stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. If you're if you're looking for if you're looking for sports or anything, don't or his. I think there's some his. I think there's history on there. History too. History stuff, but you can get a lot of history on other other places. But so the Disney Plus, I've been totally disappointed, right? So they're supposed <laughs> to be this big national geographics. We're gonna have lots of series on here, and there's like 15 series. Yeah, and, and it's all celebrities talking over. I mean, you got Morgan, Morgan Freeman, Freeman. or you got uh, what's her face, Miss Princess from. Uh, uh, the UK that they couldn't handle it, so she came back here with her prince, and, and they're living down in down in Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. Yeah. Are you talking about Megan? Yeah. So she she, she did she did Megan Markle. Yeah. Yeah. So she did one of those two. And yeah. it's, it, You're not I, a fan, are you? No, <laughs> not. I didn't find it very entertaining. Did, did you watch her interview with uh, Oprah? I did not. No. Oh, that's too bad. There was a lot of a lot of good stuff in that. So, so hopefully it's better than the Disney Plus stuff because Disney Plus stuff is great for me to fall asleep with. So I mean I can turn it, <laughs> oh, I can okay. turn it yeah, on. Yeah, if you want if you want something to fall asleep with, yeah, that'll work too. Okay. All right. But like uh, I said, like I said, some of some of them are very quick shows. They they they're not they're like school type of uh lesson subjects. Lessons and things like that. So Perfect. some but there's a lot of great stuff on there. All right. Well make sure you sign up if you have that. Now, speaking of specifically of technology, we are looking for again our first caller. 
Our first caller will receive a bag of Story Coffee to call 425-373-5527 or 188-298-5569, which is 188-298-KKNW. Yeah. All right. Just so, just so you know, based on what you said earlier, yeah, you can only get this right now. You can't get it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, that's right. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or any other of the rebroadcasts. Any other, so you have yeah. to call you in have today. To call in while we're sitting here in the studio. That's right. And talk to David. Okay, great. We are going to move on to our next subject, which we're really excited about. And we're going to move into how to uh, talk about cord cutting and how you can get rid of your cable and satellite bill in a segment we like to call Technology Insider. Welcome to Technology Insider. We get the information directly from the source. All right, cord cutting 2021 edition. Explain that again. Okay, so cord cord cutting cutting is the ability for you to take your cable and your satellite, how you would normally watch television, Mm -hmm. and to get it at a reduced cost or a different version of what you're just have been used to over the last 20 to 30 years. So, so that'd be like me just getting rid of my cable bill and then using Amazon Prime. So we're going to talk about it. So that would be exactly one okay. way you could do it. Because cord cutting means a lot a lot of different in my realm. Okay, so specifically in cord cutting in the technology world, we're talking about getting rid of cable. So whether you have Cox, whether you have uh, Comcast, Infinity, Xfinity. any of those items, getting rid of those bills because we're going to go through and actually see what people across the United States pay for this. And it's just mind-blowing because uh, I would never pay that much. And having the ability to use your over-the-air antenna for HD, mm-hmm. which you can get some of the content available there, and other supplemented services to save you money. Okay. All right, we're going to save money. All right, so all right, first thing, dropping cable TV in favor of streaming services was a surefire way to save money Five years ago, but currently content providers are raising their prices and getting rid of your over the top box is not always a cost effective method. So let's talk about that. So it used to be really it's cheap. called bundling, right? Yeah, it used to be really cheap. Now it's not necessarily the way to do it just to save money. But there's a lot of things you can do with cord cutting to save you money and, and maybe get you a better service that you want versus just a th- service that's always available for you. So now we're not going to be talking about streaming services. So we're not talking about Netflix, Disney Plus, Apple Plus, Paramount Plus, any other Plus. Tech Time Plus. Tech Time Plus. And we're not <laughs> we're not talking about any of the streaming services. We may do a whole segment specifically about streaming services right before our Lace Awards comes on up because we always do. Oh, we got that coming up, don't we? We do. We have the in the oh, next boy. month and a half, we have the Lace Awards that will be here. So we're excited about that. Um, and really, should you drop cable? That question used to be, an absolute yes five years ago, but now, you know what? I don't know if that's necessarily the same. On data from decisiondata.org, it established in a March 2021 report, brand new, so March, we're right here coming on out, making most people average U.S. cable bill is $217 per month. Wow. So do you pay $217 no, for cable? No, I pay more than that. Do you pay more than that? Yeah. Okay. So I, we, pay, I pay a lot of money. You for pay a lot of okay. So I get I get all kinds of I get Disney Plus and something other plus and plus and plus. And <laughs> okay, all right, plus plus. So that annually averages out at the two hundred and seventeen forty two per month averages out to two thousand five hundred and forty nine dollars annually. Mm-hmm. Paying almost three grand for your television, yeah. making it the most expensive utility cost in most households. Satellite cost on average is about twenty dollars less per month, but around the same cost annually. But they can't give me awesome internet services, can they? Um, satellite? Um, no, they can't give you high-speed internet. That's what, that's probably what I pay most of my money for. Well, well, get. Okay, we'll talk about that. <laughs> so so if you look at if you're having a satellite service, most people end up purchasing a lot of paid per, uh, pay-per-view items on a satellite box mm-hmm. and additional items that they'll do a one-time buy. So like that movie that's available and the on-demand downloads, people seem to buy that more on satellite than they do on, on the Comcast okay. or the digital. So we're going to be talking on the second part of the segment. We're going to be talking about how you can save some money on those. But channel surfing and cord cutting is is really key, specifically on live sports. So now there's a lot of different add-ons that have been available. Before, you used to not be able to do that for live sports, right? Live sports, you had to essentially have cable or satellite to watch. Like it, but they're, ESPN 8, the Ocho? 
Yeah, like, like, like or or any of the uh, NBA packages. Uh, essentially, if you take a look at like the NBA and Major League Baseball, they now have their own internal networks so that you can pay for a yearly service and get every single game on there without having to pay for it on your local cable. Nice. Box. So, Is it MLB Plus. Yep. Well, I don't think it's MLB <laughs> Plus. I just think it's called the MLB Network. So it's not a oh, plus yet, okay, but I'm sure they'll yet. come out with plus. It'll be plus soon. All right. Now, the very first thing to do, though, is you need to make sure you have, to stream these videos, you have to have a good internet service. So no matter what, if right. you're going to cut you the have cord. To have the, you have to have the internet. You that's have to have I the pay. internet. That's, that's, so you have to have that, which is, uh, I pay for, we're going to talk about this, I pay about 75 bucks a month for up to a gig on Comcast. We're going to talk about how I pay so little for unlimited yeah, let's, let's data. Talk about that, uh, unlimited data. Well, we're going to talk about that at the, at the end of the segment on, the, on the, the flip side of the commercial. So, for an example, most people that would use streaming services are going to use more than the 1.2 terabyte limit that most Comcast and service providers have for their free service. And then they charge you for more. So if you're going to be streaming this, you probably want an unlimited uh, data service so that you can use unlimited streaming to, to get these products. All right. Very important. Now, cable is a buffet. Streaming is really an a la carte type of selection because cable, anytime I want to take a look at stuff, there's a thousand different things I can watch, even though there's yep. 500 channels. There's st I still never find anything I, to I watch. I rarely actually use my cable for what it's there for. Okay. I, I rarely channel surf. You really, so, so it's available there. But specifically, if you're going to be doing... Um, this you're going to be talking more of a a la carte type of deal. So let's talk about pl picking a platform. Without cable, you're going to need some way to ask access your streaming sources. Um, you're going to find a platform that's available for you. There's a couple that are available. Streaming boxes that have HDMI ports that can correct connect directly to your internet are very important. Mm -hmm. A home screen that features movies and apps. Some of the new televisions are coming on out there, built in with the televisions themselves. I have a uh, a newer television that we got at a big box store, and it has the apps built into it that we watch directly from. But a stick or a dongle to be able to provide these services costs anywhere from twenty five bucks to two hundred dollars for a full featured okay. box. Okay, explain that real quick. Stick or a dongle. All right, so we're gonna do that. The best overall idea is a stick. It's called the Amazon Fire Stick. It's about this big. It's four K. Yep. yep. Um, and essentially for fifty bucks you can have the ability to stream 4K content to any device that you have with an HDMI port. So okay. you buy this Amazon Fire Stick 4K. Okay. You pl plug it into the back of the television, and it's going to enable you to get all the services that we're going to talk about. It has, like, preloaded apps. Is that it's what it is? It's got preloaded apps, and it has the ability for you to load apps for other service providers to give you these streaming services. All right. All right, the second best option if you don't want something from Amazon, and now the Amazon 4K is the best because it has the ability to use Alexa search. So if you hit the Alexa button and you say, watch Friends, it will go through in the library and try to bring up the Friends episodes yeah. or anything new for Friends that was available, maybe the HBO Max item that's available. The Friends reunion that yep. was on this past weekend? The, 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 this weekend. So the, it'll, it will actually prompt that information and make it very easy for you to search. That's why they're number one. Number two option is a Roku Ultra... HDR 4K device is about 89 bucks. Yeah, Just, we've talked about Roku quite yep, a few times. Great box. Um, they came on out as the very kind of first box to, to or stick. It's a little, little stick box device that's available that you plug in and get into your television to get access to this. Runner up, if you can't get one of those two devices, if you can't get one of those two devices, then I don't know where you live because um, those are available <laughs> anywhere in the world, really. But if you want the runner up, you can get a Chromecast with Google TV. All right, and this will allow you um, to essentially watch stuff on your computer that you're streaming, and then throw it up to the television so you can watch it on the television through an HDMI cable or no, through through wireless. wireless. Oh, through, okay. Through wireless, so you don't have to have a, an actual device. You with the Chromecast device, you plug it onto the back of your television and you stream it up there. It lags a little bit, so it's not the best device that's available. Okay. So there's some lagging. All right. For Apple users, there's only one device. It's an Apple TV 4K. You're going to spend about $179 for 32 gigs of storage, $199 for 64 gigs of storage, and most of the folks can get a 32 gig version. Um, Apple TV OS does a great job of managing the memory and running the box itself. If you want to stay in an Apple 
deal. Just don't use their uh, remote that comes with it because it has lots of problems. So, it, so oh, okay. people do not like the remote. Next thing you're going to have to have is some strategy on what you're going to do for content. One of the biggest mistakes for cord cutters is they try to duplicate the same thing they have on the cable TV bundles. Okay. You can't do that. So, so cable TV. What do you TV, mean by that? So you can't have TNT and all these oh, okay. the True TV like, and all that's, these stations. That's yeah, that's one of the because I pay for HBO Max, I pay for uh, Curiosity Stream, I yeah. pay for Amazon Prime, I pay for everything <laughs> on my cable bill. So essentially, with this, understand that you need to go through and a la carte pick and choose what you want, really want to watch. All right. The biggest thing here is that it's relatively ch- relatively cheap to purchase episodes on any of these Google Play or Apple stores for anywhere between $199 to $299 for episode. So let's say you wanted to watch two or three shows that you have to watch. If you actually purchase the actual show itself instead of watching it on one of these boxes, you can mm-hmm. purchase it for equivalent to about one-fourth of the price. Okay. If you look at what you'd pay monthly versus just purchasing the show So if I wanted the full 10 seasons of Friends. Yep. You can just purchase those. I think it's like a one ninety nine price right now for Friends. You could do that, or they have bundled deals where you can get whole episodes normally for anywhere between nine dollars to thirteen dollars a pop, and then you can have each of the season episodes available, and you can watch them anytime you want, and you own them yourself. Much cheaper than having to watch those on the old TBS. D- yeah, it's not okay. a DVD anymore. No more DVDs. That's right. All right. So. Um, Next thing you talk about after your hardware device that you've chosen is what you're actually going to use to to do if you choose not to just purchase the episodes. What do you want to have available? First thing you need to do is pick up an antenna from Direct Clear Streaming uh, Eclipse HD antenna for forty bucks. This will work. You plug it on the side of your window for forty bucks, and you can get all the HD local TV channels for free. Really? How many yes. uh, how many HD local channels are there? So in the Seattle market, specifically we're talking about, there's about 27. So I can get KCPQ, I can get Fox, I can get... Um, NBC, ABC, CBS. Yep, it's, all of those are uh, have to digitally broadcast available for those. So it's like the whole ra- the old rabbit ears. It's the old rabbit ears that you would have. That's absolutely the same thing that you would have back in your 1950s television, right? So you can get all your local channels. So if you want to watch the Seahawks and you don't want to pay for it on a... An uh, NFL premium deal, you just got to get Fox 13 or, or, or whatever is, a, is available. This is a more expensive rabbit ears, huh? Well, they're 40 bucks now because yeah. you got to get a device to uh, have them taken care of. And none, none of this is necessarily the easiest way to do it. There's plenty of, plenty of videos online to show you how to do this, but it's not the easiest, but will allow you to have your own creativity of what you want to do. Now, if you do want to have that cable type service, you can sign up for YouTube TV at $65 a month. Mm-hmm. AT&T now. Anywhere between seventy to ninety-five bucks, or Sling TV, which is my recommendation um, <clears throat> for this, from thirty-five to fifty bucks. And essentially, you can create uh, your same type of experience on the Sling TV. I used it specifically. They have a blue and orange channel, so the blue channel has certain sports, and the orange channels has other sports. Or you can do a combined version. But I used this, the Sling TV app that was originally thirty-five dollars. And essentially, when I added the two blue and orange channels, it was fifty dollars per month. I could watch all my live sports <laughs> and one hundred and twenty-eight other channels like True TV, TBS, and everything. This came on Sling. Done. Sling TV. Okay, so what's a blue sport? What's an orange sport? So blue sport package. Um, one of those creates the NFL package, okay. so you can watch all the games so for the, the NFL. Blue is your football. And the orange one, I think, had the NCAA uh, okay. Pac-10 and different items that were available there also. Okay. Now, if you don't want to do that, it also comes with 50 hours of cloud DVR. So if you just want to record something and watch it later, you can do it, and it loads it to the cloud, and then you can watch your sports later. So you can watch it in 15-minute in segments. If you love sports, though, and you don't want to do Sling TV, you can also do FUBU TV, F-U-B-O TV, uh, for 60 to $85 a month. Isn't that a clothing brand? A uh, FUBU? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's named after... Not the same owner of that from oh, okay. Shark Tank, but that the, they call it FUBU TV. Great uh, addition. Or you can also choose Hulu and Live TV for $65 a month. Now, you want to go the cheapest solution out there and best. Okay. What's the cheapest and best? Filio. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't we talk about this? We did. Philo. We talked to, uh, well, it's Philo. 
Well, it's, F I P H I L O. Yes. So, so means there, love. So there's there is love much, of is uh, so you can get A M C B E T Comedy Central Discovery, um, Food Network, Hallmark Network, Nickelodeon, all the main st- stations available for twenty bucks a month. Really? Yes. <laughs> now it's only in seven twenty p. What does that mean? So you don't get it at the ten eighty p for full HD. You okay, so this is this is the quality of video. This is the quality of video you're talking about. The quality of video is a little less. Okay, so w- means it's a little more blurry, or no? Or what? But it's just, just it's it's just not as detailed. It's it's pretty good. If you want a cheap version, it's like watching old TV. No, because old TV you still see an SD. This is still HD. Okay. It's just not full HD available. You're allowed to get up to three streams at a time and ten profiles per account. Oh, okay. All right. So, Philo. Philo. Philo, Philo, Philo. That's right. That is your best solution for cord cutting. (laughs) So remember, (laughs) mum's the word. When I come on back, I'm going to be talking about how we can save some money on your cable bills after this commercial break. All right. Hello, my name is Arthur, and my life's work is connecting people with coffee. Story Coffee is a small batch specialty coffee company that uses technology to connect people to each product resource, which allows farmers to unlock their economic freedom. Try our medium roast founder series coffee, which is an exotic bourbon variety that is smooth, fresh, and elegant at storycoffee.com. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Today, you can get your first bag free when you subscribe at storycoffee.com with code TECHTIME. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, a new show here on KKNW that explores a variety of topics and timely issues for making mid to late career transitions. I'll be here every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock bringing you guest interviews, career transition advice, and great stories to guide you to what's next in your career and life. Gain a renewed sense of purpose for your next phase with a positive, forward-looking approach. Get ready to be re-energized, recharged, and reignited Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data right at your fingertips and with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. The new Pulse device from Vivomi continuously tracks your EKG and displays this data on your mobile phone. Have you ever wondered how your EKG and heart rate behaves when you're exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or just getting the kids ready for school or relaxing at home? The Pulse is a different kind of wearable. And you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Hey, honey, did you hear what I heard? Hmm, what's that, babe? I heard Mike over there at Tech Time Radio. He's he's like battling the he's or he's in the like that the, you know the, the swimming with the sharks in that singles arena, if you will. You know? Oh, bless his heart! Oh. And I also heard, like you did, that maybe things aren't going so great. You know what he needs, babe? I think he needs to spend a little time in Love Shack. Yeah, the Love Shack. That, the Love Shack that airs every Thursday at 1 p.m. PST on KKNW 1150. Come on, Mike. Come on over and join us. We got you. Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get an efficiency review for your business today, contact us at www.ee-services.com. All right, welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum, and we're going to get immediately into our next segment, and we may pour... We're uh, going to miss out on Satya, are we? Yeah, we may We may have to push uh, him back to next week's episode. Things we you should... didn't need to know, or things you, did... what, what, things, things you didn't know. Things you didn't know is that we... Aren't going to talk about it. We may not have to talk about it. That's right. Because welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mullen. we got Mike Roday here and David Brown behind the board. We're going to talk specifically about how can I reduce my internet bill, satellite bill, or even cell phone bill. This is Nathan Nugget for our 50th episode. Okay. So we're going to talk about this. this. I specifically do this for customers to help them with their bills. Now, it's very, very important. Two numbers you need to know phone numbers 1-800-COMCAST 
Forget uh-huh. any other way to engage Comcast. I'm speaking specifically again in the you're Pacific Northwest. Like, you're talking about like the text and it, yeah. Forget forget any other way to engage Xfinity, one eight hundred Xfinity or whatever numbers they have. You need to know this number one eight hundred Comcast. Okay. Okay. When you call one eight hundred Comcast, you're going to be immediately sent to an overseas individual to help you with your Comcast bill. Okay. They will then try to look up any benefits and bonuses that are available to you. And they will say that there are none available. But normally what they'll try to do, and this is for internet or for satellite or for phone, because they provide phone. What you need to say is, you know what? I really need to save some money. I've been a customer for blank however many years you have. So I've been like a customer for 20 plus years, right? So I say I've been a customer 20 years. Well, I'm sorry, sir. There's nothing that we have available for you. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to need to cancel my service. Or can you send me specifically to the retention department? That's the key point, right? Retention. It sounds like haggling in a fish market. So you're going to have to spend about 30 minutes of your time to get okay. your, your bill lowered for a year. Yes. So you're going to spend probably about five minutes on, on the phone with the overseas individual that will try to help you, which has no ability to really accommodate what you need to have done. And then they will send you over to the retention group, which is still normally overseas. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, they have these great discounts that are available. And if you name your price that you're looking to pay for your service, it's amazingly that they will find a way to have a discount that will pay for those devices. Really? So we're, I, we're, we're not. Are we talking like five bucks a month? <laughs> so so we're no. So let's so let's talk about your uh, internet. Is you use for your Comcast bill that you have right now. You you say you pay about a hundred over one hundred and forty five dollars a month. I pay over the average. The average is two hundred and something. Okay, so you so you pay more than I that. I pay per a month. lot. Yeah. Okay, so I guarantee you, you could probably reduce that bill in half by just saying I need to reduce my bill to X. Okay. Not even changing your programs, not even changing your service, by telling them that you need to go to the retention group at 1-800-COMCAST and go through and ask for customer service. So I'm going to call 1-800-COMCAST. Okay. And then I'm going to try and convince somebody on the other line that I need help with my bill. Yep. And they're going to tell me no. Yep. And then I'm going to say, send me to the retention group. group. Yep. And then I'm going to go to them. And they're going to say, how can we help you, sir? And I'm going to give them my wine. And you're going to say, yeah, I would like to reduce my bill by 50%. And then they're going to do it. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Now let's talk about DirecTV. Let's say you use DirecTV. The number you, you know, want to call? That, now that we've said it on the air, they're not going to do it anymore. They'll be like, okay, click. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully they'll continue to. So the DirecTV or AT&T is now owns DirecTV, but forget calling the AT&T number. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Okay. What and happens? Do I... Go I have- overseas and talk to somebody who can't help so you? So immediately, you're going to go overseas. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to talk to somebody that can't help you. And what you're going to ask is to be, now, again, I said Comcast or retention line. Mm-hmm. This is your loyalty. you got to make sure you say the words correctly. So this is your right. loyalty So uh, Comcast provided. is retention. Yep. Direct TV. Direct TV is loyalty. loyalty. Yep. I want to be transferred to the loyalty representative. Then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, you're going to have somebody that will answer the phone in English in the United States. Hi, I'm George from like, Colorado. This is like arguing with the maitre d' to get your meal meal cut. But let me tell you, for my direct TV, I have a premium service that I get from them. I spend 75 bucks a month. Okay. I spend about 75 bucks a month for my internet. I get a gig internet and I get- You're going to get a lot of phone calls tonight. You wh- know that, right? Why is that? Because- all these providers are going to be like, hey, <laughs> we're going to stop it. All of it is making sure that you, sp- it's about 30 minutes of time. So if you don't want to spend the 30 minutes of time, you pretty much forget it because it's going to take you about 10 minutes to get Because you have to tier haggle. Ones. Well, no, you just got to just say, you know what? That's not going to work on the tier one person mm-hmm. so they can get you to that tier two person that has the access to do that. Okay. And you know what? If you have a T-Mobile phone, <laughs> <laughs> so I have a T-Mobile phone. You call 611, which is your T-Mobile phone provider, uh-huh. internally with T-Mobile. And then go overseas. And we, <laughs> oh, go Sally, overseas. we're not talking about you today, this <laughs> buddy. That's right. We're going to have to do that on our next segment. And then what you do is you essentially tell um, T-Mobile that you need your bill to be down. So I have five cell phones on T-Mobile. Uh-huh. Unlimited data plan. Pay 125 bucks for all. Wow. 125 bucks. What's their for? department called? So, so their department is just called customer service. Uh, and what you do is you tell them you want to extend your phone on the $5 plan. 
Okay. And so every phone you have, additionally to your first phone at forty bucks, we'll get it at that price. We're we're, we're running. Out we're running time. out of time. Dave, Dave is over he's there saluting Dave, again. He's got he's got fingers moving. All right. Well, I am Nathan Mum. This is our fiftieth episode. We are excited to be on the air. Hopefully, you had a nugget that made you go. Mm. Next week, we're going to be continuing our uh, "What You Didn't Know" segment. So yeah. we'll get back to that. We have some uh, items that we'll be talking specifically about some of our leaders in technology, and we'll have some great guest stars that we'll yeah. be here talking about. We'll have Mike Orday here. Yep. We'll have David Brown behind the board. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that mmm moment in technology today. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. And also signing up on our YouTube page where you get to see us live in video. Yep, you can see us chat and have some fun. It's youtube.com slash techtimeradio, all one word. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you. From all of us at Tech Time Radio, remember, mum's the word. Have a safe and fantastic week.